What's up, Pisces? How y'all doing out there? Y'all doing all right? I don't know, that's right. We'll do a little soft energy checkup. I checked up on y'all in a minute, it seems. Y'all is uh, Aquarius. Sad spring. Three signs I don't really be doing a lot of. Hold on, it took me so long to get them out. Y'all retrograde in Neptune and y'all retrograde in Jupiter. And some of y'all ain't got used to catching towers. Y'all so used to catching towers, y'all be like one hand with that shit. <laughs> oh god. Come on, I'll hold to the next. I'll, I'll to the Like water, I'm trying to tell you. What's her? If I rule the world, <laughs> nine of pentacles in reverse, two of wands in reverse. You are broke up with somebody. Some other shit. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. Divine feminine Pisces. Enjoy your life and stop wearing yourself sick, honey. Buddha of Cups, Piscean male energy. Some of y'all tired. Some of y'all look older than what y'all are because y'all been through so many. Y'all just can't tell. Just tower after tower after tower. Y'all just be like this. <laughs> One hand on y'all face, the other arm just showing shit away. Showing shit off. Y'all used to this shit. Girl, you'll be killing on. You'll be killing on. Loss, fear, disappointment, lack of faith, lack of endurance, laziness, unable to maintain success, all hope is not lost. Revamp plans, try again. Security is compromised. Then y'all get the tower on top of that, and y'all and y'all. If I rule the world, that's just how much y'all used to catching fucking towers, y'all. Mm. Y'all mm. messy situation, envious close acquaintances, loss of family, friendships, material possession, taking time to reflect, constant petty gossip to undermine y'all business and reputation. Possibly on purpose. Some of y'all is receiving threats, underhanded dealings, spreading of rumors, lack of contentment, being spiteful, uh, fall back from a messy situation, entanglements, avoid rash decisions. That's a lot going on, Pisces. We are too tired to fight back now. Could be right with God. I'm off your ass, too. Mm -hmm. Cancerian energy. Some of y'all dealing with a cancer or y'all got cancer in y'all chart. Some of y'all dealing with emotional disturbances. Inner, term, inner turmoil. Intuition. It may be heightened at this time. Some of y'all have received some prophetic vision. Some of y'all got a vast imagination. Some of y'all dealing with hidden fears. Some of y'all need to ground at this time. And either y'all in competition with somebody or somebody in competition with y'all. A fool, pun, a bird. I lost 
Lost it all, I've been through it all. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> it is what it is. Some of y'all feeling like that. You know, just tired as fuck. <laughs> Shit. Will I survive? I don't know. Six of Cups in reverse. This ain't good. Strength. Shit. Oh, this is going on. You better be mentally strong. You hear me? Come for real yard that tower. <laughs> Just saying, though. Damn. If anybody cross watching for a Pisces that did them wrong, baby, they get karma like a motherfucker. Stay strong. Continue fighting for personal and global liberation. New beginnings, forward movement in five weeks or five months. Look for change. Be patient at this time. Free thinker. Make, make sure to take a break from the world to maintain healthy mental health. Yeah, some of y'all are going through it on the mental health side. What you put out, you got to look at what you put out. You read what you sow. It doesn't, that shit, it rains on the just as well as the unjust. God don't work like people think he work, like they got special privileges. You do not have any special privileges. What you sow, you shall reap. That's it. Now it's time to get reflective on what you may have sown. That was fucked up. You may have did something to somebody that was fucked up and you receiving some form of karma for that shit. And at the same time, you have some type of mental health issues. This was somebody, not everybody. Frustrated, impatient, immature, stubborn, state of duress, resentful, bitter, egoism, law-breaking, feelings of inferiority, unsure of self, and haste. Baby, when I tell you, to me, if y'all dealing with somebody like that, like if y'all got children with somebody like that, whether they are Pisces, star sign, or whether it's in their moon, or whether it's in their rising, or it could be in your South Noid, you may want to check out the South Noid reading today. After this um, reading, I'm going to do the South Noid reading. Like all that stuff I just named, who the fuck, who baby you about to watch? That's how a lot of babies end up murdered. Or just shit, they just be ending up in a whole nother generational curse because you taking out all of that shit on a child instead of detaching. I don't understand why men that know they dealing with that kind of shit, they fight their baby mamas the worst to hang on to their children. Like, that's not showing you love your child. Why don't you go off? And if a baby mama don't respect that you got to get your fucking self together, then I don't know what the fuck. It got to be an adult in the room kind of situation. Who the fuck wants somebody that's frustrated all the time, impatient, immature, stubborn, always in a state of duress, resentful, bitter, operate out of their ego, break the law, feel inferior. So that mean they be jealous and envious of other people if they feel inferior of themselves because they don't think that they got what it takes to accomplish anything that will make them get that type of success. Unsure of self. Here it is. And do everything in haste. Would you want your baby to be with that person? I won't give a fuck if they're the father. That's, that's dangerous. That's how children get up. Men and girls be... And then sometimes they bring a man... They ain't even a baby father. And then he comes to court like... Like, where was you at though, bruh? Why you got the R.I.P. t-shirt on a little man man? I'm just trying to understand 
Soul searching advice. Living in the past. Sense of renewal. Unhappy childhood. Releasing relationships that no longer serve your higher purpose. Emotionally drained. Stifling relationships and resentment. You won't have no choice but to let a real a person that was really knowing it look. I'm about to get my motherfucking life together for my children. And I know I got some demons that are so fucking crazy. If my baby mamas don't roll with that, they men say fuck women every day. On some real shit. And that's saying fuck your child. And talk about the women that you wouldn't leave your child with. That ain't what I'm talking about. I'm talking about self-accountability. If a person don't understand that you got to get your head tight, you're going to say fuck them anyway with all that shit going on, short fuse. This person done lost all their damn children to the world. If nothing else, where were you doing? When uh, Bam Bam was trying to hit on your daughter or raped your daughter, where, where were you doing? So we're trying to rape somebody. You see what I'm saying? Two of cups sideways. This is a stalemate situation. Whoever this is for. It's a straight up stalemate. And karmic justice is here. If that's it. Somebody getting karmic justice. You could be a Pisces dealing with somebody like this. Pisces feminine dealing with a masculine energy like this. Or you could be somebody cross watching for a masculine Pisces energy that's like this. You just don't feel safe giving your child to that person, even though you're they're the child's father. And a person can have dreams all they like, but if they got all that shit going on, where the fuck your dreams going with all them motherfucking uh, bags? You too way, you too heavy. You can't take off no motherfucking wear. So you get rid of them bags. Where the fuck you going? You can't afford how much them bags gonna cost to put on a plane. Ten of Pentacles. To a sword. Somebody finally had boundaries on somebody. Set them hard. But somebody y'all used to, um, somebody been doing magic on y'all too. They under divine judgment for that. Ten of wands. Somebody this heavy bird. Make excuses. Just, there ain't nowhere else to go. This person don't have nowhere else to go. They can't make another excuse. Because everybody already into everything that they do. They gotta face a demons. If they don't, their life just gonna be in stalemate. Towers. Just, one big ass tower after another. They can't blame nobody else. They good for the blame game. They can't blame not a soul. Okay? Somebody was mentally stronger than this person. This person tried to break some of y'all. Mm-hmm. And y'all got the same. Y'all trying to get to the Ten of Pentacles and are doing stuff to actually make it a reality even though you're dealing with a ten of wands situation, you handling it like, like a champ, and this person is recognizing that they fucked up. Especially if they do a magic on you. This person, this this person may not ever see their children again. Because they got too much work to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some of them may just release their children. Cause they can't, they can't, ain't nothing they can do for them. Release. That's what they say. So, I mean, y'all may end up getting custody of y'all children, full custody. So, this person can find what the fuck they need to be doing and pay the child support for all of these babies. They still, they know they gotta do that. They don't know nothing else. They know they gotta do that to stay free. Mm hmm. King of Pentacles in reverse. <sighs> oh, 
overly cautious, paranoid, poverty mindset, fear of loss, highly opinionated, lacks empathy, cold-hearted, untrustworthy, unfair in dealings, tendency to project, inner ugliness, materialistic, shallow, bitter, vices, possible perversity. I'm picking up that some of y'all are with somebody or was with somebody that y'all baby father, somebody y'all got a child with, was envious of or jealous of, but the person didn't feel the same way about y'all um, baby father. Like, if y'all told this person stuff, they'll say shit like, shit, I ain't no better than that nigga, or shit, I got my own things to work on, or, you know, whatever. Just try to stay as optimistic as possible. But some of y'all baby fathers, and they had did shit to get this person out of the picture. Not even realizing the person, they, had, they ain't not like them. They low-key was like, awesome. Shit, I can't judge him. But that the person, y'all baby father, attacking them so they won't be with you now you tell me that ain't crazy that's fucking insane temperance some of y'all may have end up having to break up with a person because of baby mama baby daddy bullshit and somebody don't want to face it act like a child because they have childhood traumas that they don't want to fucking deal with how the fuck you gonna raise a child and you don't even see the fuck what you doing is wrong it's two left shoes you just keep doing it. Some motherfucking wrong with you. Y'all have to have y'all have to had to have have patience with this fucking energy. Like beyond like people will ask, how the fuck did you have the patience? How the fuck did you not end up in the penitentiary? Or how did you stay alive kind of shit? Because this type of energy to click out. Because they show impatient and so frustrated all the time. Too much of anything stresses them the fuck out, but they keep having children. And y'all person, some of y'all person knew this and was like, I can't be around. They may have had a baby mama that was just the same way. Mm -hmm. Like I said, had a baby mama that was just the same way. Like peas in a pod kind of situation. Somebody y'all grew up with. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all like Queen of Cups energy, spicy and energy. Yep. Some of y'all done lost money. They don't want this energy. I don't know why they feel like y'all owe them something. Because some of y'all children got star qualities and they want to feed off y'all children. And they don't want this person. They know this person. And this person is healing because this person's heart was broke. But they had to leave you. But some of y'all baby fathers was doing shit to sabotage the union. Y'all don't even know that shit. But it's true. Somebody was doing something to sabotage a union. Even if it's y'all supposed to be with y'all children's father and y'all got with somebody, somebody was sabotaging y'all from being with who the fuck y'all know y'all want to be with and who is a good fit for y'all. Somebody is coming out of heartbreak from being in separation from some of y'all. It could be a Pisces experience in this or it could be being done at the hands of a Pisces. Whether male or female, it doesn't fucking matter. Y'all done had it up to hear this motherfucker. But this person is learning non-attachment. And they're getting over it. Because they're starting to see that you've been in the Ten of Swords for a minute. But the person that backstabs you all the time plays victim. They play victim to some of y'all children. That can fuck a child up. Severely. Because it puts them instantly in the middle. So they have to, it's like they pitted against one against the other. <laughs> For real. The other parent works in a more patient kind of way, sort of like this. But they allow to say that the person talks evil about them and blah, blah, blah. They may have gotten to that point once they start losing money and the person stopped paying child support or stopped helping or whatever the case. It's just a messy ass situation. And somebody's sitting up thinking if they rule the world, that's how out of touch with reality they fucking is. You can't even rule over your life. How the fuck you thinking about ruling the world, honey? Help me to understand, please. Can you maintain a household for a year by yourself?
Hey, the inspiration. Yeah, y'all got people that will not knock it off. They disturbed. They don't know nothing else. For some reason, they think y'all owe them something. be walking away though and they still y'all ain't paying these motherfuckers no attention they following you what the fuck yeah a lover situation a lover situation if you do a witchcraft on it so y'all better protect yourself with a seven day ritual it's required okay using esoteric tools get creative that's all I can say Cause these motherfuckers is nuts. And it's like they got more children than just the child y'all got with them or the couple of children. Some of y'all may have one to three children with this energy. They got more children, but they just focus on you. Cause some of y'all got children that are like a, a star, a star seed. They know they gonna be successful. So they trying to hang around, but they doing more damage hanging around instead of turning around and going to get themselves together. They following you. Some of them got up to 10 children with different women. Mm -hmm. Queen of voices. Y'all saying, y'all speaking out about it and people don't even, people is tripping. People trying to figure out how y'all alive or how do y'all still have y'all mind with the amount of stuff that y'all starting to share with people that was going on within one of these, with somebody with a, in a union. Y'all was dealing with somebody that was a piece of fucking work. Whether you got children, which I'm picking up heavily, but it don't have to necessarily be children involved. But I am picking up children heavily. Mm-hmm. I show them. This messy as fuck. Y'all know it too. And y'all got the patience of Job with this shit. People like, how the fuck do they count? And y'all be working y'all crafts. Okay? Don't let this person depress you. Get out of the bed before your uh, depression. It says, get out of the bed before depression turns into mental health issues. Ancestors, some of y'all may be grieving and it feel like depression, but get up, put on some lipstick or, you know, just do something. Do something. Make yourself pretty. You ain't gotta be pretty for nobody else. Be pretty for yourself. And y'all good at what y'all do. Y'all resilient. This person just can't, quote unquote, believe they didn't break you. They was trying to break you. Some of y'all may have went into a mental hospital. Night of emotions in reverse, fucking crazy. Right on emotional disturbances. Person is fucking nuts. Nuts. Stuck in the era. <laughs> Stuck in the 90s or some shit. If they a Pisces, that shit possible as fuck. Because if you don't guard yourself as a Pisces, if you don't guard your gates, then people will impress all kind of personas on you. And you will be acting it out and not even realize it. That's a... That's, that's like beyond schizophrenic. Two of emotions. Uh-huh. Breaking up a lover situation. Trying to break it up. Yeah. Yeah, working that hand, honey, when I tell you. So break up a lover situation. It is so tragic. It is so fucking tragic. Yeah, it's going to... This is... Oh, it's death. The, all that divine masculine that I said. Some of y'all, it was a king of pentacles in reverse. It came up in reverse. They kicked out of y'all life. They hurt them and... They got shit they dealing with too. People trying to keep y'all in separation. Oh, it's a dead situation. I'm trying to tell you. They gonna fuck around and die. Kill they self, can't shit. Being berserk and shit in that manic ass energy. Driving and straight flip their car. If they keep on. I'm talking about on their way to the magic store. To do more spell work, can't shit. And straight up die on their way there. Ace of voices. It's true. Some of y'all may have picked that up. Y'all know y'all intuitive as hell. Ten of emotions. Y'all gonna get the ten of cups anyway. Yeah. Crazy as fuck. Some of y'all told this divine masculine. This king of pentagrams. King of pentacles keep coming up. I'm telling y'all. Y'all told them. I'm telling y'all how it went. Some for this is for somebody. I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all gonna get custody of y'all children. 
somebody getting custody of their children, and somebody enter in a twin flame union, and some of y'all building an empire, and some of y'all are indestructible, some of y'all got Virgo in y'all fucking chart, and some of y'all got baby mamas who's crazy as a motherfucker, Jimmy Urge energy. I told y'all, yeah, this y'all in y'all vibe. The truth about to be revealed to somebody, me. I'm trying to tell you. Somebody be steadily causing conflict. I swear to God, and somebody be seeing it, and then when they come to them and ask them, did they do it? They say no. This person keeps on watching somebody, and then ask them, did they do what they seen them do? And they say no. And they starting to realize that they're crazy. It could be somebody. So it doesn't matter. It's just like, like say somebody got a sibling that's fucking nuts, but they don't want to face it. Something wrong with the motherfucker. Now they kind of like awaken to the fact there's something wrong. So they doing shit like they watching them do shit. They do not know this person watching them. And then they'll ask them, did you do something? Did you go over Bobby Joe, Bobby Joe's house yesterday? And they'll be like, no. Nah. And they be seeing them go over Bobby Joe's house yesterday with their own two eyes. Then the next day, they'll be like, um, did you, did I see you at Baskin Robbins yesterday? They'll see them. They'll, they'll be following them right there. They'll be like, uh-huh. I ain't got no basket robbers yesterday. They see, they see a pattern something fucking wrong. Something fucking wrong. Like showing signs of dementia at a young ass age. You got people that's in nursing homes. That's all dementia is. Holding on to childhood grievances and shit. And not letting it go. It just makes your mind just click out. And you just start reminiscing about the past all the time. And sometimes you can remain present. That's how people get tricked with dementia patients and stuff. Because you think they're straight. And they do not be straight. And whatever worry them most, they tend to do that shit over and over again. Or dealing in childhood, or they'll be present and you would think they cool, but they ain't. They be like children. When trauma get that much, when it get compounded like that, your brain will shut the fuck down. It ain't nothing but a supercomputer. It's true. It's true. Some of y'all told this King of Pentagrams energy. I tell people that Pisces and Aquarius readings, my ancestors said that Pisces, you can watch it, whatever your sign is, because Pisces encompass all of the 11 of the zodiacs. It's the oldest of the zodiac. Aquarius, I say that because we're in a new age of Aquarius. We just come out of Piscean age. So it's good to watch a Pisces or Aquarius reading, even if you don't have them in your chart. It's going to be something in there. It's a shapeshifter energy. Pisces is, so is Aquarius, truth be told, because they're water bearers. They water and air. Some of y'all told this King of Pentagrams energy, this motherfucker crazy as fuck, and they was, they hit you with the everybody say they baby daddy crazy. And y'all like, yeah, okay. They see no. They may have seen them doing some shit, which made them feel sorry for you for having to deal with that shit. Probably wondering how the fuck you so motherfucking strong. On some real shit. Some of them may pig you as weak, not no more. But whatever it is they seen or heard about this individual, that's facts. You hear me? Y'all told them straight up. Okay? If don't nobody know this motherfucker, y'all know this motherfucker. But they ain't hear you though. But they been hearing it or seeing it. And they like, damn. You strong as fuck. Cause ain't no way. I would have been that patient with that kind of shit. Did they see this person doing? They low key heartbroken because of you, not because of the person. They just they heartbroken because of what you done had to endure with this person. And you was telling them like, man, you wasn't you don't understand how some of y'all was telling them you don't understand you nothing like them. I understand you trying to empathize or act like you like this or you know, but you ain't nothing like this person, and they didn't want to hear you. Yeah, every baby mom that say that, you know, like, no, y'all nothing alike. You a you a saint compared to this person. And they like, nah. You like, yeah, you is a saint, okay? Compared to this person. And a scholar, okay? They didn't want to hear you. They did not want to hear you. <laughs> okay. You know. What do you do? Y'all left it alone. They see no. A whole bunch of people see no. Oh, well. All right, Pisces. I pray that y'all ground y'all energy. Keep chasing y'all dreams. Not chasing them, but, you know, having them realized for real.
you know, bringing them to fruition. Y'all are resilient. Some of y'all are resilient. Whatever your zodiac sign is and you're watching this, you know, that resilient energy because y'all have dealt with some shit that most people would have been dead by now or all the way fucked up crazy somewhere talking to themselves in the parking lot with a flip-flop on and a goddamn Patrick Ewing hot top. Okay? <laughs> y'all know how old that shit look. It's crazy. All right, y'all. If you're feeling the vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. Love and like.